Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here. We're going to go over some quick little pieces of news. There was a new update to Halo Infinite. It fixed some things and it may have broke some things as well. We're going to talk about some of the HCS stuff that's coming with the Charlotte LAN event thing. And how you guys can get some cool armor coating. There's also been a ton more leaks. I feel like we've really discussed um, the amount of leaks and content that they've shown in depth here so i don't feel as gung-ho to make a video just on that stuff because it's not a lot of new stuff but anyways with the february update there's been some things changed in rank and across the game so the frag grenades had their damage radius slightly reduced that's very cool the sniper rifle had its error angle reduced when no scoping so now you can be super cool tony hawk no scopes and it's kind of weird because 343 said that it was already like in line with what previous Halo games had, but no scoping in Halo Infinite just did not feel very good with the regular sniper rifle. They also adjusted some weapon racks and drop mechanics. So people would, I wouldn't say abuse, they would just use it, but you could drop your weapon faster than you could swap weapons. And a lot of pro players and, you know, people in ranked were using that. Halo 343 didn't really like that, so they adjusted it. So the drop weapon mechanic will now have the same speed as normal weapon switching, which there's been some tweets on Twitter showing that that is not true, that dropping it is still slightly faster. But they've also made it to where when you drop the oddball or drop the flag or try to juggle the flag, it takes forever so that is not intended, it is a bug. So hopefully we see a fix for that soon because I feel like it kind of makes it way less enjoyable to play and to watch. Also at the HCS event, they're gonna give a sneak peek at season three where the grassroots creators are gonna fight. They're gonna go head to head. So I assume that means they're just gonna play on new maps. They're gonna use the bandit rifle and the shroud screen. Also, we do know that Plaza is gonna be coming to Halo Infinite. So maybe they'll show that off as well. We've seen the other two maps. There's also that other hidden map called Chasm that is apparently done. So maybe we'll see some extra stuff. Also, do not forget, if you have Twitch up and your Halo account linked for drops, you can get the Death Hex armor coatings. And I'm not going to lie, these are pretty sick. I, it kind of looks like oil and water. It, I, I don't really know how to describe it, but I love it. So I'm excited to get that stuff. I will be attending the event, so... Very, very cool. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!